YouTube, what's the deal? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. We back with another reaction. I came across a clip. Um, this is uh Rich at Heart podcast. I never heard of him, but I came across the clip because I seen this big ass red uh <laughs> this big ass red outline around the uh thumbnail. And like, I mean, y'all know y'all can see my shit like if the shit catch me, boom, I'm, I'm about to click it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I clicked um, I clicked on the thumbnail. Shout out to them. And uh, Munchie B has some words for um Snoopy Badass. It seems like Snoopy Badass is, you know what I'm saying, his name popping up everywhere right now, which he probably loves. You know what I'm saying? That's an active little character. You know what I mean? But, um. Again, like I said, uh, I felt the way, <clears throat> not felt the way, but I just thought like the um, exchange that he had with Brick on No Jumper was like unnecessary. They're like, if I want to do this, I'm going to do this. I roll. Like, I just feel like that was like beating your chest for no reason. Like, y'all not about to get down on camera and none of that shit. You know what I mean? It was just extra out. But then I ran, I, like I said, I ran into this clip and I was just like, mm, let me uh, react to this. Just a piece of this. Some Munchie B thoughts on the whole, um, the whole No Jumper interview. Or at least the comments, uh, having to do with Slim, uh, Slim Fo. Oh yeah, that, over the weekend, I, I peeped a little inner, I had to stop, cause it was two hours, stop, go, stop, go, 30 minutes, come back, you know what I'm saying? It took two days to finish the interview, but with Snoopy Badass and, and No Jumper. Oh yeah, that interview was long, and he had a lot of energy in the interview. Shout yeah, out to Shorty, like whoever she is, her baby hair is popping, you heard? Right? With the gold, I like that. She's like an L.A. girl. You know what I mean? He better not be on on, on, on probation like that because he sound like he was hard. You need to kick back, brother. <laughs> hey, but no, nah, but, but what's up with the, dis the, the disrespect, though? Not letting people talk. Was he high? He was going super fast. He was going like this. He was going like, he was going like this. But hold on, but hold on, but hold on. He was doing a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? He was doing a lot of that. You feel me? Straight up. And then the other uh, reaction I did, y'all can see, where he talking about uh, Brick. He just solo. He rolling up that little baby ass backward. And he like, so, you feel me? It was just like, you know. And it was just a whole nother vibe. Then when he was at No Jumper, he was like, hold on, hold on. Let me do Hold on, hold on. He was going a million miles per hour. But uh, pay attention. Uh, Brick baby say, Oh yeah, we ain't gonna do the slam disrespect. Oh no no, but but if I wanted to, and I, uh, I ain't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That was weird. You talking about slam for honey, right? Slam for honey. Every interview this dude do, he wanna he wanna bring bring my boy up. You know what I'm saying? Like damn, you ain't got no new bangers that came out to talk about. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You ain't got nothing, no merch, no 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 new nothing going on in your life. Every Munchie B say every interview Snoopy gotta talk about slam for honey. Rest in peace, Slim 400. Hold on. That, that was my nigga, too. I fucked with that nigga heavy. Just his energy. Like, I love niggas with that kind of energy. Like, I'm a nigga like that. Like, I just be loud and like, mm. I love that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro. Um, Yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, It seems kind of funny to me, too. Every time he pop up, he do got something to say about Slim 400. And then, again, just how much he be said, like, if I wanted to do it. Like, bro, what kind of comment is that? And then it's like, yo, you just said it was your 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 partner. You feel me? That was my, we ain't have no issues. Ooh. So what would make you say that? Like, you feel, and this is what I be talking about, about the gang culture. Like, because bro just stated, like, I'm not going to be a part of no Slim 400 disrespect. It made you feel so brolic as to like he was stepping on you or something like so you had to say, oh, yeah, but let me make it clear that if I did want to disrespect him, I would like that type of shit is wow corny to me, bro. And that's the type of shit we glorify in this culture. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. I listen to all the music and do like I do all that shit, but it's just, it's a difference between, like, what you, it's a difference between, like, what you doing behind closed doors and what you promoting, I'm gonna be honest, you know what I'm saying, like, I listen to shit that I don't think is, like, 
really the best uh, musical content for real. But like I use it for what I use it for. You get me turned up in the gym or if I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Just vibe out, you know, different shit. But, you know, it's just like all this extra out like gang bang politic ass shit and then nigga like i said niggas bringing that shit to the internet like dude keep that shit keep that shit over there niggas just trying to get a bag here you feel me shout out to um iq shaheed you feel me i, I hit bro up he hit me back show love you know what i'm saying uh, a young hustler there you, you feel me and he seemed like he kind of on the same type vibe like niggas is all pushing this Oh, like, yo, this not that's not even what it is, bro. Like, we trying to live out here. That kind of behavior, it 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 it, it makes your your expiration much quicker. You feel me? You want to recite a, a slim four hundred story? You know what I mean? That's you know that show nigga ain't got no emotion, evidently. So it take Crim Mac to fuck your baby mama. You know what I'm saying? For, for you to be relevant, or, I don't know, man, but. I was just like for the man to just keep the homie name out your mouth, man. Golly. He rests in the peace. Let him rest. You know what I mean? Yeah, I respect. We rest and, in peace to Slim 400. Yeah, and long that live was a, the bro. Friend of, you, friend of yours, right? Yeah, that was, that was my close friend since probably like mm, two, 2000. Oh, wow. So y'all know each other for a minute. How'd y'all meet? From way, way back. You feel me? But um, again, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I just would like to reiterate. Like, I, I agree with uh, Munchie B. Um, like what, especially if that's your homie, what was all that? Like, but if I wanted to disrespect them, like you're gonna, so you're gonna use your homie name to, to prove some invisible point. Cause that's the thing. Like, that's what I need everybody to realize too. Like niggas got their little hoods and shit across the world and everything but like this gang banging shit is so like that shit is so small in the fucking globe you know what i mean like that shit is small bro and it's like you got to expand yourself like i'll be hearing brick all the time like everything i'm gonna do i got another um reaction i'm gonna drop to brick baby uh on bootleg kev and it's like everything always reverts back to like the hood shit the the prison shit it's like bro we trying to move past that you feel me and like i don't know me me as a consumer of, 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 the, of the culture being part of the culture i'm tired of hearing that shit i'm gonna be honest and niggas have more to offer it's like brick baby done traveled the fucking world he from the he from the land he's from the motherland you know what i'm saying i mean africa i'm talking about la you feel me gangland he, he's, he's from he's from the land then went out to Atlanta or whatever, got all the ties that he has in Atlanta and all that BMS. He got a whole story. He went out there for college. You know what I mean? And it's like, aside from that, then he's like traveling with different artists around the world doing different shits. Like, bro, you got stories, fire stories that don't, that don't all consist of just like, you know, the hood shit. And, and like, I know, oh, this is, um, like, when you grow up like that, that's what it is. Like, oh, the majority of stories like that, that's cool. But when you've traveled the world and done all kind of other shit, too, you got way more stories. That's all I got to say. You feel me? Like, let's quit the hood politicking on YouTube because that shit ain't going to do nothing but get, like, some white man some money. Let's just be honest because that's what Adam doing, banking off of all this shit. But anyway, um, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Again, if this your first time to the channel, please hit the notification bell. And subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, share if you fuck with the content. This your boy Gangland Neen. Peace.